Hey, that's right. So we are live inside of Kenner City Hall. The damage here is incredible and catastrophic. I'm in one of the offices right now. You can see this is a lot to clean up. We've got Mayor Benzon joining us live. He's going to kind of walk us through the damage. We appreciate you talking to us. Give us the tour. Kind of show us what we're looking at. So we're on the third story, um, third floor of the um, Building B. That is Councilman Wilmont's office. You walk down this hallway right here, this would go to Councilwoman McKinney's office. If you look in here, you can see where most of the damage was created from with the roof being ripped off. As that rainwater came in, as you see the trees came in, tree branches came in, as that roof was ripped off, it continued to create nothing but water damage throughout the building. We have rippled floors, uh, loss of ceiling tiles, electricity hanging down, this is Councilman McKinney's assistance office. That was the assistant office for, for Councilman Wilmot. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of devastation. It's something that we have to get someone in here and tell us the structural issues with this building now and see where we go from here. Mayor Zahn, and you can continue to just kind of walk us through and show us sure. some of the hardest hit areas. Tell us, is this building salvageable do you think I, Kenner City Hall will have to move to a new location I mean you know like I said I'm not a structural engineer or a contractor but by my the way I look at it with my own eyes I would say we have some issues it would be hard to return to this building but of course we're going to do the right thing and have someone come in and look at it this is the district offices <clears throat> It's kind is of it odd. safe to say, Mayor Zahn, that you would have to be, would Esplanade Mall be a possible option? You know, we're going we're gonna to look at a few options right now. We do have the EOC to work some government out of, but some departments like code have to, have to get up and running. So we're going to we're looking at putting something in the parking lot that we'll be getting in touch with the public and notifying people on our social media very soon. Um, this is Councilman Brennan's assistance office. And you have some that are okay except for water damage, but some that have suffered the uh, you know, structural damage. What sort of crucial documents and information we, may have been destroyed in this hurricane? On nothing, things are wet. We don't think it's destroyed yet. We're getting a restoration company to come in because we do have some things on my floor, 100 year old, year old documents that need to be uh, restored digitize some kind of way if we can do that dry them out first but we do have some things that I believe are in the vault uh, at building A which also has problems building C has problems that we need to um, be very very careful with because those are critical documents that we have to work with and kind of show us any other areas of this building that is your second home I mean I know this is wild to just walk this through on live TV and see the this is devastation throughout this it's kind of a Council lot to take in. Councilman Brennan, uh, Brannigan's assistance office, but then you have Councilman Hayes' assistance office that's untouched except for water damage. The water damage that you can't see, just like Councilman Segura's right here right now, uh, more, more or less water damage in here. Talk about the um, power within Kenner. There's a lot of people still without power. Yes. Where are we with power and when can people expect so, some sort of hope? So Entergy said today, you know, but you know, getting them to 1201 midnight, obviously. Uh, they said they'd be restored by today. That was their drop dead date. I go back to the first 20, for the first quote, which was 21 days from the day of the storm. I think between today and also within those 21 days, you'll still obviously a lot more progress. They have restored a lot. Uh, like I told you before, my neighborhood wasn't until last night. My block wasn't until this morning. So it's, it's just the way it's going. We had some problems yesterday where Chateau was cut off. Was it from the rainstorm? Was it from them testing things? Bunch of things going on right now. Category four storm, there's a lot going on. We've had water pressure problems. We've had lack of water. water. We've had obviously power problems. We've had food issues. We're trying to do the best we can to restore all those things. We've had some garbage issues, but now IV is caught up as of yesterday afternoon picking up that one can in front of your home because I gave that order because we want to make sure that you're putting your contaminants, your bad food, in that garbage can. So that's very, very important. We are coming back for those bags. We are coming back for the debris. Okay, Mayor Zahn, um, I appreciate your time and we'll just give you a, another look at the damage, wrapping up uh, any I know we're running out of, out of time. Any crucial information we can get out there to kind of residents? We, we put this on the back burner, our city buildings, because the most important thing was our constituents, their homes. We did, the, we did as much as we could do first to restore power, restore water with Judson Parish, get food and water and ice to those people, to all of our residents. But now we're starting to um, look at this. 
get the council up here. That's why Councilman Segura is here. There'll be some other council throughout the day, throughout tomorrow, getting their personal uh, belongings. But now we're starting to look at some of these things because we've got to run government, which has been running since day one with, with this whole storm. But we have to run government to get some code out there quickly. Absolutely. All right. Well, Mayor Zahn, we appreciate Thank your you. time. So here is uh, quite the scene here in Kenner. We'll keep you posted all throughout the day. Guys, back to you.